you have to continue it, it feels a little bit like we're still preparing the team, we're still planning, we're still getting the fitness levels, you know, the lads who didn't play on Saturday played on Sunday over at Carrington and um, had a good run out and um, the team has to settle down, you know, we're all disappointed that we didn't manage to pick up three points at home, but, um, but there's a lot of teams that are the same really, you know, I think of the teams who came out of the Premier League, two of them lost, one of them drew, it's... Um, and I said before the game, it's not as if I'm talking in hindsight, every opening day game is a tough game, wherever you go, whoever you play, adrenaline's rolling really high and um, you get some tough fixtures, some strange results. I'd like to think over the course of the season we'll find ourselves in front of Charlton and you know we total respect to them they've got some good players and a real honest hard working group and a good manager but um, our expectation has to be higher and greater and, and the, the fact that we lost is usually disappointing but um, there was some positives from the game and um, we have to work on them and keep improving yeah maybe I think Scotty will be really disappointed of course because of the you know, they spent 100 and close to 120 million pound last summer in the Premier League and obviously find themselves back in the championship you look at their players on paper they've got some you know amazing footballers who uh, were way too good for the championship you know a couple of years ago and um, you know their midfield is exactly the same with Johansson, McDonald, Kearney um, they've still got lightning fast tricky wingers out wide they've got Mitrovic who you would have to say should damage this league really with his power and his goal scoring ability and his strength um, Let's wait and see. You know, it's a tough, it's a tough game for us to go to Fulham away. Um, but it's also tough for them on the back of a poor result away from home. First game, the pressure to try and get a result for them at home in front of their fans. Um, it'll make it a good game, I'm sure. But we, you know, we're very mindful of their talent. But um, we have to go and ask some questions of them and, and uh, make it a difficult day for them. Yeah, well, we had a lot of ball at Charlton. You know, I was having all a high 60-65% possession of something against Charlton it's, um, we won't be having that much possession against Fulham in my mind they've got some very technical talented footballers who can work the ball through the lines and so we have to be disciplined out of possession we have to work our socks off to try and stay in the game and then we have to have counter-attack threat and we have to um, be able to push them back with the ball when we have the ball so um, a different game completely and um, one of concentration and focus um, yeah, it'll be an interesting tactical game, but you know, be mindful of the talent they've got. But that, you know, I, I felt as if we had more talented players than Charlton on the day, and yet we couldn't manage to break them down. Will we go there and play five four one and have lots and lots of men behind the ball? Probably not. Um, we'll probably go and, and ask questions of them. But um, let's see, let's see how the game goes. It, you know, everything's easy in hindsight. If we win, it's great. If we lose, manager probably picked the wrong team and the wrong tactics. But um, that's football. Let's let's go there and, and see whether we can. Um, give a good account of ourselves really with our ambition and our expectation of ourselves this year. Pretty similar I think, I think um, you know, Derek's trained a day or two, Derek Williams, let's wait and see, tossing us a few more days into training to see whether we feel as if we're going to include them in the squad. Um, apart from that, not much else really I don't think. Um, just preparing, looking forward to the game and, and go down to London and see how we get on. Thanks again for watching, please like, share and most importantly hit the subscribe button to keep you bang up to date. With all things Blackburn Rovers related, Championship related, football related, we've got it all covered right under one roof. And while I still have you, please be sure to check out some of the old videos scattered along here. I hope. <laughs>